Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Kim and I'm a mum of one. And that's Isla, who's going to be four tomorrow. Um, I said just outside of Glasgow, so yeah, sorry for the dodgy accent. So, I thought I would take ten minutes to just have a coffee and sit down and show you what I'm going to get her for her birthday, which is tomorrow the 9th of November. Oh, she's so close to Christmas as well and sometimes I just think, do you know the first year she was born she got stuff, it was like, it's a novelty because you get to open it up and then you've got Christmas a couple of weeks later and it's quite fun but now there's, she just gets loads and then you don't know where to put it and it just becomes like cluttered. So when I was looking for stuff I thought I want to buy stuff that's timeless also stuff that's going to like stuff that I can keep not stuff that maybe she's going through a phase of and she'll get bored of and then like it'll just get chucked away or um, things with loads of wee bits and pieces that just get cluttered and dumped and then you hear like standing and bits like lol and you don't know what lol goes with that lol and Oh, LOLs. Anyway, so let me show you exactly what I thought. So, I am really into books myself and I thought, Isla loves books, she, she loves reading and I love that she loves reading and I thought books are one of those things that are completely timeless. You can buy them, you can collect them, you can then hand them down. I gave her books that belonged to me when I was a wee girl and she reads them at night. Well, Jim reads it at night. He does the story time at night time. And it's good to just sit with a book. It's a wee bonding experience as well. So let me show you what I thought I would get her. Now, I got one of these. Um, we were away out a walk a couple of weeks ago and I thought, I really want to get to know the kind of trees because it, it was obviously autumn and there's lovely, there's lovely leaves and I'd love to identify the trees. And we were also looking for conkers and I couldn't remember what kind of tree a conker a conquer came from. So anyway, I thought I would get a wee book and I came across these wee I spy books. Now, bear in mind, I'm using natural light here, so I do apologise if it doesn't focus very well. So these I got on Amazon and they were about £2, between 2 pounds and 3 quid, I think. And I got loads of them. So I bought the tree one first and I thought, oh, this is pretty cool because it also helped me. And sometimes I just brighten up like a walk. Sometimes she'll moan going a walk if I have to walk the dog. But if you take something like this, so much easier. So I got loads of them. I got the nature one. I got I Spy at the Shops. I Spy in the Night Sky. <laughs> I literally got loads. I Spy in the Garden. Um, I Spy Creepy Crawlies. We love creepy crawlies. Um, I spy in the countryside. <laughs> I spy wildflowers. Um, I spy working vehicles. Now, I lo lo will love this one because she loves tractors because Jim um, wo works in the agricultural sector. So she's in and out of tractors and machines all the time. She loves that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I need to stop saying to him. I love that. Um, I spy garden birds. I think there's another one downstairs. It all came at different times. I ordered about 10 of them. Or did I? Hi guys, sorry about that. That was a delivery. Um, so yeah, so I did order quite a... Let me get comfy in this chair. I did order quite a few of these and the, do you know something? Look at the size of them. They literally fit in your hand so I can take them in the car, at a walk, um, when we go up to see Jimmy at his work. See just kind of spicing up an everyday activity, like we'll take these, there's one, I don't know, I think it's downstairs and it's I spy in the car, and it's basically like I spy in the car. <laughs> um, so these are great and do you know they don't take up any space at all. The back of them says £2.99 but obviously Amazon will do them a wee bit cheaper. So I got loads of these, I actually went a bit crazy because it also helps me as well. There's quite a few things that I'm really interested in that would be really cool. 
and this um what was that there was another one downstairs, I can't remember what it was, but she spied it when it came through the door on Amazon and I forgot to hide it and then she has played with it. But yeah, it just makes life that wee bit easier when you're out or they're tired or you just fire these in. So it's like if I was taking the dog out a walk, I would probably grab one of these books just to entice it along a bit and she would really enjoy it. Next thing I thought I would show you is bigger books. Now, I got stuff like this. So this is What A Waste and it's by, is it DK? Um, and it basically, it's never too early to start educating them about the environment and nature. And I just thought these are really, really good books because we can read them at night and you can take things in. Um, I've not actually went through this one yet and, I, and it's really interesting actually just having a quick look at it oh well i'm actually really interested in this as well so i got this one i love this and i think this will probably be something we'll read tomorrow night next one is inside the human body let me see if i can focus on that it's a uh, with over 50 flaps to live so it's like a flat book that sounds so wrong um yeah so this is pretty cool this would be really interesting because as you're reading it they can lift the flaps and then it kind of ingrains their memory what's under the flaps. I like this one. Um, I had a quick look through this when it first came and I really really like it because she, she will sit down with, with kind of more adult books and tell you what the brain is and things like that so it's really interesting to just give her something that she can sit with and again it's never too early to learn about the human body or as I said, the environment or... Mm. I never started drinking coffee till about ugh, two months ago. And then when I was on holiday, I started drinking espressos. And I, I've got one of those pod machines and I put the espresso in it. And it's bloody freezing, it's disgusting. Ugh, I like, I love the smell of coffee. Next, um, I was up at a garden centre. I'm now at that age where you go to a garden centre. You know you're getting old when you go to a garden centre. And it was like a wee treasure trove because I had Ireland, I had my mum, but I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Um, I'm missing books, am I? No, I'm not. Anyway, so I literally looked through it and I thought I could buy that, I could buy that. And she was with me, so she's picking things up and she's going, oh mum, look at this. So I got a pack of two Disney princess books. I don't know if you can see because of the light. This was $9.99 down to $4.99 and then back down to $2.99 and one of them is Tangled and one of them is Beauty and the Beast. They're quite big chunky books inside and I think that would be fantastic for bedtime stories. Jim's going to love reading these. So again, I mean for three quids you're getting two great books. Let me just go through all the books first. Um, next one I got was Build a Tractor. As I said, Isla is absolutely obsessed with tractors and machinery because of um, Jim's job. And inside it, there's little things that you can, you basically, they're like wee cardboard bits and you put them all together and they make a wee 3D model. And I think that's pretty cool. So that's something for her and her dad to do. Um, and then again, she gets to remember these kinds of things, remember what a machine does and how it does it just by building something. Next, when I was at the garden centre, I'm such a, a baby aren't I? Or an old, ah, old woman, ouch. Anyway, I've not seen any of these books in a long time and I don't actually know where sells them but I know this garden centre sells them now and it's the Mr Men books. And she went up and she, she grabbed one and she sat down and she started reading it. And it's and I just thought, I've not seen them since I was a child. And I thought, these are fabulous. I still remember, like, being in my friend's house and there's all cooing up at night. We're having a sleepover and her mum reading us the Mr. Men books at night. She had loads and loads of them and I really liked them. Anyway, so I got Mr. Men the night before Christmas. The good thing about Isla's birthday is it's six weeks before Christmas. So I can then buy stuff that relates to Christmas and two birds one stone kind of thing so she can get all prepared for Christmas with her birthday stuff. So the night before Christmas um, I got Little Miss Christmas. I think it was like three for six quid. 
Um, and did I get another? No. And then with them in the same stand, there was the one of the poo ones. So it was like Pooh's. Oh, I don't think you can see that. Pooh's snowy day. Pooh's Christmas adventure. A time for Christmas. Um, and a long winter sleep. And again, I just think like they're 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 not really much, so you can fire them in a bag or you can take them out with you and it just means that there's a, there's a wee book for them to keep them occupied and yeah I just love this size it's so handy and again I love kids reading I love I love it I just love I love books myself so next I got you know how you get those ones that's like the they have their name on them so it was like Isla's Isla Santa's little helper and then Isla Santa needs your help. So things like that again, preparing her for Christmas, buy stuff. I bought her for her birthday. Ooh, so that's all the books done. Again, how many times am I going to say again? So there was loads of books. I would buy Isla books till they were kind of in my ears, but I don't really have the space for them. So next, at the garden centre, I came across a brand, a brand called Floss and Rock. And they had some really, really nice stuff, but it was pretty expensive. So I wanted to buy stuff again that didn't have loads and loads of little pieces and uh, you would be standing on them, breaking them, the dog would be chewing them. Um, I thought stuff that we could also do together, because she is an only child and she relies on us a lot to keep her interacted. So I thought a game of dominoes, this is really cool. So they have, I don't know if you can see that, um, floss and rock reversible dominoes. 28 double sided pieces for double the fun. And they were 8 99 but I just think it, the box isn't that big, the dominoes won't be absolutely massive. And I just think this is really cool, this is so cool, we can sit down at night and we can play a game of dominoes. Um, and again it's like a wee bonding session. And again it's small enough to just pop in the cupboard out of the way. Sticking with floss and rock. I really quite like their brand. I just got a little purse, let me take it out. This was $5.99. A little purse with a unicorn on it. Just because when she gets pocket money, she has it in like a big LOL money tin. And instead of like carrying the money tin to the shops, we can just put some in that and she can have her own little purse to take to the shops. And I think that's pretty cute and pretty cool. And again, it's like learning the value of money and stuff. So yes, I quite like that for myself. I wish they my size. Sticking with the same brand, they've done some really, really, really nice jigsaws up there. There was loads of unicorn ones with glitter and things like that, but I just, I got her this one. Sorry, I'm, again, the light is shocking. It's really cool. And it's a cool box as well. This one has Eight, oh god, 80 pieces with shiny foil. I can only imagine how this is going to go down. But this was 14 99 They're not the cheapest of brands. I'm, I'm re again really sorry about the lighting. I really need to get the ring light set up. Not the cheapest of brands, but I think it's pretty cool. They had loads of stuff. They had like wee trinket boxes. They had umbrellas. They had oh, loads. I could have spent a fortune in there. And I want to go back up because there is a wee rucksack that... Um, I could get her for school next year. Really cool. Next, I'm I'm not we're not buying a lot for Isla's birthday purely because it's coming up to Christmas as well. And let me show you. So I did grab a Barbie. Again, a Barbie without loads of accessories because sometimes I feel a four-year-old is going to lose those accessories, and you're just going to spend all the time hoovering the accessories up. And yeah just swearing a lot <laughs> it's like lego standing on lego finding lego the dog's eating the lego yeah so just a barbie i picked that up from madeline and it was about six pounds and i mean it's just it's just a barbie but again kids don't really know the value of money so whether it's six pounds or 600 pounds they really don't care and i think that's pretty cool for six quid again so we've got two more things left and when we're talking about what to get her for her birthday we thought something that she can interact with with us again we can do stuff at night um and i got our um this game is it the wobbly worm game 
She basically flings the hoops onto the worm, but I think that'd be pretty fun if the Eve was playing that. I was thinking of something else and I can't remember what I was going to get or something similar that all three of us could play again. Was it Jenga? Or something like that? Or Connect Four? I can't remember anyway. I got stuff like this just so that the three of us or our friends and her can sit and she can play stuff like that instead of always having to play it on her own. This will be pretty cool. You can adjust the height and I think I got it from Amazon for tenner. Can't complain. Now, last but not least, let me get adjusted. Isla's got an obsession with farts. Get farts. She likes to talk about farting. <laughs> does anybody else's kids like to talk about farting? Because she really does, and it's it's funny until you get into B and Q like the other night, and she went. Like, Jim was at one end of the aisle and Isla was at the other end and she shouted, Dad, I've just farted in being cute. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and everybody just burst out laughing. She ain't no lady. Anyway, so I got her a farting monkey game. Pull my finger. I mean, classic. It's so funny. And she doesn't learn that from me, by the way. <laughs> it's definitely her dad. Men and their farting. Um... Yeah, so I think this would be hilarious to play. She will absolutely love this. I can just see her playing this and just killing herself laughing. It's so, so funny. Anyway, yes, I got that. That was a bit more expensive. This was about £16 from Matalan. So that's what she's got to open up. And <laughs> I'm just... All the fart stories I could tell. I mean, she's a wee girl. It was really funny. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I now need to hide them because she's going to come home from nursery and if I don't hide them then she's going to see them. Oh, I've got one more thing to show you exactly. Just give me a wee second. Now, I thought it's coming into winter and she's needing a new winter jacket and I thought I've seen a really nice one in Patagonia, um, the brand Patagonia and it was, it was really, really good and it was filled with recycled down but the only thing is I don't know how to wash it very well and it's very expensive I think it was about £140 it did have the kind of soft fluffy collar and I wanted the cuffs that she could put her fingers through at the bottom and I wanted it to go past her bum obviously to keep her warm because I mean we do stay in Scotland and we are outside quite a lot and then I went to Martalan Martalan and I seen this and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's obviously not got the filling that the Patagonia one has, but it is stuffed, eh, not stuffed, lined with fur. <laughs> like fake fur. Um, I don't know what the filling is in this, but it's just your usual filling. Oh, I don't think it says. It's got the wee kind of tyre that she can keep nice and snug. Um, wee pockets. The Patagonia one had uh, fur lined pockets, not fur, but like fleece line pockets but I mean this is going to do the trick and then I'm not scared about washing something like that because it's only £25 and if you, it all goes peat tong then you don't feel really bad but buying a really expensive one I'm like mm, I don't know whether to hold off until she goes to school to get a really good one where she's out in the playground and stuff and she can get a really good use out of it or to get it now but I'm glad I picked this up the hood is detached, no the fur is detachable um, and I just think it, it ticks most of the boxes I was looking for from the Patagonia one and it goes right down. It's obviously not as fancy as it but it's going to do the job. It's going to do the job quite well and if we're out she can just lay it up underneath because I went and bought her quite a lot of thermal stuff from Decathlon. Um, um, yeah so that is what she's got for her birthday and I'm going to now hide it otherwise she's going to see it all and that wouldn't be any fun but thank you guys for tuning in and yeah if you feel free subscribe thank you and I'll see you next time